Hey guys, Chris Barlich here. Say it's November, starting to get cold outside, getting super excited for ice fishing. I just dug out the otter box, time to get my rods out, get some new fishing line on there. This year I'm going to be spooled up with P-Line's Floral Ice. It's a copoly line that has a fluorocarbon coating on there. Like most people know, fluorocarbon is super invisible underneath the water. This has got some coating on there mixed with copoly. I'm super excited about it. Copoly gives me the ability to fish a little bit heavier line. I'm going to be spooled up with three pound this year. Usually I'd run two pound, but being that I'm using a copoly line, it's going to have a super thin diameter, allows me to bump up that extra pound, get a little bit more strength out of the line. That way I can use it for finesse tactics using pan, when I'm catching pan fish. And I can also use it to catch a little bit bigger fish. You know, when February and March comes around, we all love to go catch those tulipies. A little bit bigger fish, this line does the trick. I can upgrade to a three pound, still be super thin enough to do my finesse tactics. Like I said, it also has a fluorocarbon coating on there. So that way, fluorocarbon absorbs more water. It's going to fall down there faster when I'm using lighter baits. Get down, catch the fish, get down, get down there in the uh, school of fish, catch another one. And I don't have to worry about weight for the line sinking down there. It's going to allow me to get down a lot faster. Uh, using a thinner diameter line also helps me when I'm out there catching fish. Uh, I'm a finesse fisherman, like I said before. I use light baits when I'm pan fishing. Uh, I use a lot of jigs out of the Northland line, like the bro bug, the mud bug. Also, I like to use the jig. It's a hair jig. It's handmade, hand tied. Uh, when I'm ice fishing, I use the 100th ounce variety. This also, being that it's going to absorb some water faster, it's going to allow me to get down there faster and fall with them using the lighter jig. It's also not going to give me any repercussions using a lighter jig because it's not going to interfere in my jigging tactics. It's nice and light, won't uh, bother it one bit. Magic question always is, how often should I change my fishing line? I like to tell people you should change it as often as you can afford to. When you're out, you always want to start the season with a fresh spool of line, no matter if you used it two times or if you used it 200 times when you're ice fishing. You always want to start with a fresh spool at the beginning of the season. As the season progresses, it depends upon how much you're fishing. If you're catching a lot of fish, uh, if you're walleye fishing and you're catching a lot of predator fish, you're going to want to change that line often. It's going to stretch, it's going to twist. It's best to get some of that off of there. Even if you're not unspooling the entire rod, it's best just to pull a little bit of that line off that's getting stretched out. If you've got plenty on your spool, you'll be in good shape. Like I said before, I'm going to be using a cold poly line. It's got a thinner diameter. Uh, it's going to take a lot more to fill up the spool on your rod. So what I like to do is uh, I like to pull off maybe three-fourths of the line that I had on there from last year. And uh, you can either use the tag end and tie onto that, or you can leave it tied directly to the spool and just keep tying on over that. What that's going to do, because it is cold poly, thinner diameter, um, you know, you've got the backer on there. You don't have to put as much line on there. Most of these ice spools come with 100, they come in a 100-yard spool. You know, if you're taking all the line off your rod, you're probably going to put three-fourths to the whole spool on there. You leave some backer line on there, you can put 30, 40 yards of line on there. It's going to be plenty for what you need. It's got less memory. You don't have to worry about line twist. How many times have you gone out there on the ice? You open your bale, and all you get is a nice spool of line coming out. It's all twisted. you got to sit there and tug on it and straighten it out. With cold poly line, you have less memory. It's a stronger line. The stuff's coated with fluorocarbon. It's a win-win situation. Well, I've got to get this spooled up on my rods. Uh, I don't know what you guys are going to be using this year, but take a look at some cold poly. Hey, ice fishing's getting near. Time to dig your gear. I'll start thinking about some of this stuff. I can't wait. I'll see you guys out there on the ice.